Hi, thank you very much for joining and checking out this video. We're going to go through some recent sales in my eBay store. They're all ephemera items. We have the majority of them anyway are going to be vintage printouts. As you can see, this one from way back in 1906. We're going to go all the way up to 1979 with the print ads. We have a couple of postcard sales, and we even have a piece of vintage sheet music to go through as well. But let's get started here with this first one, 1906 Ladies Home Journal. This specific ad is only 8 by 5 so 8 inches tall. Five inches wide you can see it's for a company called peters makers of swiss milk chocolate nice image here a couple of kids sleigh riding winter scene sold that one for twelve dollars next up we go to 1918 for this ad uh, world war one era as you see in my title also sold for twelve dollars plus shipping this is for a naphtha soap made by Procter & Gamble. This is a much larger ad it's also ladies home journal but this one is 16 inches tall by 11 inches wide. Pretty basic image there. It looks like a, a set of wicker chairs and a couch overlooking a pretty nature scene. But anyway, $12 on that one. Next up is this ad from 1921. You can see it is again a ladies home journal, but 1921, for whatever reason, the form factor shrunk by two inches. So we have a 14 inch tall by 11 inch. A wide ad here for Durham Hosiery. And I took a best offer of 10 bucks on this one. Up to 1926 we go. This is an 8.5 by 11 ad. It's for kids shoes called Endicott Johnson. And you can see a couple of boys playing football there. Not much to say. Pretty simple ad here. Sold for $12. Up to 1944 we go here for this issue of the Saturday Evening Post. Obviously Christmas time. This would be the last Christmas during World War II as the war would end just a few months later in the spring of 45. Beautiful scene depicted here, at least I think so. It's a homecoming of some sort. It looks like the lady in the middle is coming home, probably the mom. But a very wholesome, really, really pretty image in my opinion. Christmas brings back familiar faces for Maxwell House Coffee. Sold this one for 12 bucks. We go post-war now up to 1946 for this Ford ad. It's just basically talking about the V8 engine. Kind of a goofy, comic-looking advertisement here, but nevertheless still sold for $12 plus shipping. 1961 this is an interesting ad for bell telephone it's a phone booth and you can see the note up there that says temporarily closed because there's a bird nesting so they appreciated the fact that there was a, a bird nesting in white oak maryland but anyway this one sold also 12 dollars plus shipping 1964 ad this was purchased during the live show at the time of listing so again i appreciate you for picking that up thank you very much but it is a camel cigarette ad, businessman kicking back, lighting up after a busy day at work. <laughs> $12 plus shipping. Up to $19.79 for this final uh, print ad in this video anyway. Kind of heralding in the 80s, the on upcoming 80s. This is a three-pager. It's the one page on the left. And then you can see this kind of like an insert in the middle representing three total pages. Sold this one for $20 plus shipping. A nice ad for the Cadillac Seville. All right. As promised, here is a piece of sheet music this is actually more than a piece it's a kind of like a i think it was like a 20 or 30 page piano player's repertoire uh, booklet here music book from way back in 1911 sold this one for 15 dollars plus the cost of shipping let's finish off with a couple of postcard sales of course my beloved world's fair this is from 6465 ford motor company the pavilion for ford right there featured in this one 750 on a 25 percent off sale Card from Lynn, Massachusetts for the kind of bizarre price of $7.73, but we'll take it when you consider you have probably a nickel into it. $7.73 sounds like a nice profit to me. Love the postcards, miss the postcards. But anyway, this is Lynn First School and First School House, excuse me, at Franklin Street in Lynn, Massachusetts. And then wrapping up this video, a $7 postcard sale for the Waldorf Astoria, probably from the 30s or 40s. Nice image there. That just sold a couple of days prior to me filming this video here on the 4th of May. So may the 4th be with you for all those Star Wars people. Thank you very much for checking out the video. Please do leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content and you'd like to see a lot more. And please, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I'd be honored to have you. Please hit that subscription uh, button and click that notification bell icon so that you're notified when I release new material, be it in video form or live shows, which we do at least once every week. Thanks again, everyone. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.